This is Sebastian Mendel Martinez for MMA News here with top ranked UFC bantamweight Pani Banzai Kianzad, who faces former title challenger Alexis Davis at UFC 263 on June 12th. So, Pani, you've got a big fight coming up, and it is yet the number one in this ongoing win streak you have going on. How are you feeling heading into what could very well be one of the most important fights of your career? Well, when you say it like that, I get nervous. <laughs> no, but um, we've been training really hard ever since uh, I signed the contract for this fight. But, I mean, I signed a contract over 16 weeks ago to fight Raquel Pennington. Uh, but then a few weeks back, like six weeks out, um, she... Uh, that that fight just fell through. We actually didn't know why. Uh, but two days after, I signed a new contract to fight Alexis Davis, uh, which I'm really happy about. Uh, another veteran and another former title challenger, mm -hmm. and just like a known name. And you were originally supposed to fight a little bit earlier. Now things got uh, moved up a little bit. How much did that affect your training and preparation? Because I can imagine, as you know, combining everything, training, regimens, diet, all that stuff. I and mean, then you got a certain date set. And then that gets changed. How much did it affect you? Well, the date never changed. It's, it was just the opponent. But, uh, but that's fine. I mean, we were... Uh, we started camp a bit earlier. Uh, I was way off, like 16 weeks, so I just needed to like. I, ha I had a camp before my camp, so I, I call it fat camp. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, we had we had a really good camp, but it's uh, it's been really tough. But no injuries, no nothing. It's just you know, just basic camp like all always. And uh, when we spoke a little bit before, you talked about sort of difference of fighting now as opposed to in your early 20s could you sort of categorize some of the maturity that you've reached in your career and as a fighter and like how it's helped you progress uh, well i went pro at 21 so that's really early uh and you don't hit, hit your like peak your prime until you're like my age now i'm 29 um so i i I always thought that I was uh, hitting my prime much earlier. So when I when I got to like a certain point where I was like, okay, fuck, I'm losing and I'm winning, but I'm losing the most. Uh, I didn't know if it was me not evolving or what it was, but I just needed to grow up a bit because um, I can see the difference between me being a bit more grown up and fighting and training and getting to train uh, full time and getting sponsorships and everything then to me uh, training full time working three jobs and just don't know why I'm not evolving you know um, so just growing up a bit is is a good part of it uh, getting like my my personal life like stabilized uh, and just a combination of that make me a better fighter and just like uh, in the head as well and I'm sure that leaves you with a lot more time for leisure and just general relaxedness. You know, you can let your body rest a little bit. You can relax with some laughs and stuff like that. And speaking of laughs and memes, uh, is Hasbullah the best thing to happen to MMA since Hoist Gracie? Uh, did what? Uh, Hasbullah. Has <laughs> I'm not like... I. I I really don't get the whole thing about it. Yeah, yeah. he's like an old dude, but he's small yeah but he he's has, only 18 yeah but yeah i know but he has a disease i don't feel good laughing about it uh yeah like i i i first thought i mean this is just a joke and then it turned out to be like a hit i just don't get it but yeah whatever people think it's funny well you got like dylan dan is chiming in on their lives people are picking sides you know yeah. if you want hasbulla or abdul rozik whose side are you on uh, i'm 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 on pug memes i have no <laughs> idea what's going on <laughs> i'm just doing pug memes so no i have to stay out of this <laughs> who would you say is the funniest mma fighter right now oh darren till, darren till. he he he's boss <laughs> he's funny <laughs> and uh, uh when you're not fighting and getting into and watching mma memes and stuff like that outside of a fighting life what kind of how do you spend your free time when it's not related to fighting in any way anyway no training no nothing um my dog my boyfriend that's it <laughs> dog bo boyfriend fighting yeah i don't really do like it sounds like i'm a really boring person but i'm not but uh, she's not <laughs> i'm just like um food 
I like to explore food. I like to go to different places and taste food. It's nice. Uh, but yeah, my dog is my uh, priority any less. And we do like, um, and just that we hang out together. And like, I like we one of those couples that actually like each other. They like to hang out together. And You're not one of his modern toxic couples? <laughs> no, we're not influencers like uh, couples because I know that a lot of couples just post on, 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 on internet and, and Instagram and like, yeah, I love him so much and he's the best and then they break up the day after but but we don't do that because we want to be prepared <laughs> no we just don't we don't just like uh, make everything sound perfect because it's not perfect it's a normal you know, relationship but yeah um mostly like biggie and everything and uh, it's hard to say something that's not training or fighting related because i love the things around fighting um but yeah uh, after this fight i might like uh um give you guys some news about like uh um a new thing happening in my life panny's cooking show no no no, no. not cooking show just like a thing i want to invest them in. let's say that okay yeah uh something great for uh, the town i live in in malmo so um yeah yeah that's it Oh, as a resident of malmo i am thrilled to and uh, looking forward to that exciting news all right, but it's good to hear that you enjoy everything you're doing because, uh, as we say, if you love what you work with, you don't work a single day in your life. So obviously, you're on the, the right track. And on this track, you know, you've got a tough, hard-nosed, grizzled veteran. Uh, she's been in there with many, many big names. What would you say are the biggest uh, advantages that you feel you have over such a seasoned and experienced competitor? Speed. 100% speed and just like explosiveness. Um, like I won't like say full cardio because she has good cardio. She can keep going, you know, but I have exceptional cardio. Uh, but yeah, just like speed and uh, I would say technique actually. Uh, like if we're gonna talk about ground technique, of course, like if this was a Brazilian Jiu Jitsu fight, she would be better, but this is an MMA fight and I think I'm a better MMA grappler in this part as well. Looking on paper, one could say that keeping it on the feet would be in your best interest, but would it, because as you say, she is a very experienced and, uh, you know, merited uh, BJJ practitioner and grappler, would it mean more to beat her on the ground? Uh, you know what, I'm just going to take it whatever the fight, you know, takes me. I'm not going to decide, okay, this is what I'm going to do, this is not what I'm going to do. I'm just not going to end up in bad positions. If I'm going to take, if, if we're going to be on the ground, I'm, I'm going to take her down. And I'm gonna be on top, so um, yeah, I'm just gonna, I'm, I'm basically not gonna say that I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna keep my MMA game open. Okay, and rounding off, then, what is your message for the fans? What can they expect of your bout with Davis on June 12th? Uh, this is gonna be super exciting and bloody. I expect that, uh, and this will be my uh, fourth win in a row. And then we coming uh, for the next one after that, and we won't stop until we hit number one. And next one after this will be Raquel Pennington? Yes, but uh, let's focus on Alexis Davis and getting that win back home. All right, exciting and bloody. I can't think of two words to more entice grizzled MMA fans. So be sure to catch Penny Kanzad versus Alexis Davis at UC 263 on June 12th. Penny, thank you very much and good luck in the fight. Thank you.